Ladies and gentlemen, doing more Billy Strings today. Oh, Billy, 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 Billy. So this one, uh, well, check it. Listen, I, I'm going through the old video. If you haven't seen Dust in a Baggy video, it's the biggest video I've ever done now. I mean, lo and behold, people love metal. People love bluegrass. They like Billy Strings. I mean, great, right? So if you haven't seen that, uh, there's a link in the description. Go and check that out. So I'm going down the comments. You guys know this whole channel is driven by you. This is totally user-driven, right? Subscriber-driven. Anthony Scuria, amongst hundreds of people, says, Turmoil and tinfoil is much more interesting from a theory perspective. I'd love to hear what you think, uh, why the chords in that song work, quote-unquote. I got 270 likes and a bunch of replies. And uh, and Joseph Brown supplies the link. Boom. Let's click it up. We've got a full screen here. This is ice cold, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's learn it together. Let's see what we got here, Billy. This is metal bluegrass. This, this is, this is, <laughs> this is, uh, wait, Phrygian sounding metal bluegrass. Let's, you know what, let, let's listen for a while and then we'll go back and break it down. Let's see what we got here. Look at this blast. Through the turmoil and the tinfoil, I can wade my early life. Silver morning when your face had turned to gray. You were standing right before me, but I missed you every day. Though you never said you're sorry, I forgive you even then. But I feel inconsequential in the current state I am. Okay, trying to hurt me, Billy. You're trying to hurt me. Let's go back to the beginning here. All right. He's in a he's in a crate. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out the capo. It looks like he's in drop too. And he's got capo third fret. So it looks like, from what I can see, you're in your D shape, the capo third fret in drop. So this is a big F. And from what I'm hearing is we're getting, we're getting this. And that. I'm hearing Phrygian. I'm hearing flat twos. And I'm hearing, I'm hearing a lot of stuff. I'm hearing major sevens. I'm hearing flat sevens. I'm hearing flat sixes. If you guys aren't familiar, well, let, let's make sure what we're doing here. Jesus. 
Look at that face. is your your basic vibe here right and you got your standard bluegrass thing so one two three that that's flat three root flat seven root so just minor right nothing fancy here then you got <laughs> something like that but here's your flat two, Phrygian, to the root, flat seven, root, flat two again. Now, I'm kind of fuzzy in, in here how he gets up there, but it sounds like flat three. And then he jumps over to the third string and gets your five. This is an F, right? So this is C, flat six, five. So. is some hot stuff, especially for bluegrass. Um, basically, this is Phrygian, right? So you got one, flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. So it's natural minor with the flat two. It's your third mode. Uh, if you guys wanna freshen up on modes and this type of thing, the chord scales, whatever, hit the first link in the description. Uh, I just uh, re-uploaded uh, level seven to the GuitarGate course where we go over all this stuff. So there's your, there's your little plug for you. Let's keep going, Billy. It's so hot. Now it's... Does he do that? It's just chromatic. Sorry, a little, you know, the capo makes it move a little bit. So he's going down chromatic, flat two, three, or flat, sorry, flat three, two, flat two, one, flat seven, and then he, moves, he switches to power chords, inverted, so fifth in the bass, but same thing there, but basically flat seven, uh, six, flat six, fifth, but it's all. It's just, a, it's just a metal walk down. It's a metal inverted power chord walk down in a bluegrass tune. Yeah, that. Through the turmoil and the going back and forth between just taking the power chord, right? Because this is this is just F5, right? It's an F and a C. You're going up a half step. There's your flat nine, your Phrygian, right? There. But then the other time, he's going doing it there. I mean, this is some Pantera stuff. Running through the night I recall a silver morning had turned to gray. You were standing right before me. But I'm All right, so he goes up. So here's the F. He's letting this ring out. He's getting it up here. And so what this is is your 
This is your minor third of F and your flat seven. And then still doing, I can't tell if you did the half step there, you went the, but either way, it's still that uh, bridging. Uh, you know, if it makes you do that, just a shade above the root, just uh, like you're jumping off, that's bridging. That's, that's, the, that's the feel, it's the. <laughs> Missed you every day. Though you never said you're sorry. Yeah, something weird is that. I forgive you even then. But I feel inconsequential. so hot. It's so hot. All right. Then in the chorus, in the chorus, he goes to flat six power chords, guys. Power chords. Flat six. Then up to major seven. This is an E. Song's in F. Not Phrygian, right? Phrygian harmonic, right? Whatever. But he's going to a major seventh, E and F. So flat six, seven, one. And then it goes down, flat seven, back in key. Right, it's like your C shape. Back to your flat six, current state I'm in. Oh my, it, it's, it's so, Ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. It's a little rundown. A little minor rundown. Flat seven, that thing. Flat three on the way down. On the sixth string. But I'm trying to keep on living. By the way, your melody is based on the fifth, right? So that's his C in F. Um, basically, he's going up and down the... Uh, it's the F minor pentatonic, um, but you're doing the one, two, three run. You're in your fifth C, right? B flat, A flat, F. It's A flat major pentatonic. Is that whole step, whole step jump? Again, super common in minor progressions where you're going uh, that that one, two, three, like you're in A flat major, but the relative minor is the key center. But instead of going right and have your melody off the flat three or the root is off the five I'm not hearing him sing any of the crazy flat twos or anything so that's kind of what keeps it together you know and the Phrygian stuff is kind of that that colorful stuff that you hear but the melody what keeps the listeners you know uh, connected with the chords is keeping that straight relative major Melody, hammering the five. It's it's a melody about the five. Through the nauseating gloom, and I'll try to keep on digging. Wretched past I will into. Though you never said you're sorry, I forgive you even then. But I feel inconsequential. Crazy. In the current state I. Is that five go to a flat five there?
Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, that is that is a metal to death <laughs> bluegrass solo. Dude lost his shades and everything. All right, let's go and try to get some of that. If you guys are new to this channel, I mean, so you know, we do this. You know, we we try to figure stuff out that's crazy, and you know, we get it, we get it, we don't, we don't. Your basic progression that they're all playing over. By the way, bitchin' banjo uh, and mandolin. So you got the basic, you know. So like every other time, it's your basic, uh, uh, you know, F. Going up a half step. That. Right? And then going down to the flat seven, every other one. So. So it's always a little touch of Phrygian, you know, back to the flat seven. A little touch of Phrygian, back to the flat seven. All right. <laughs> Billy is such a madman. I love this. All right, let's get some. Now, ladies and gentlemen, not going to be note for note. I'm doing this on the fly. This is this. We're getting broad strokes. You guys know me. You know this. Broad strokes. <laughs> Brushes right through it. One, sorry, one, flat two, flat three, he's getting there. Yeah, I mean, he's got that, and then that. So, your vibe here, root, flat, three, four, five, flat, six, six, flat, seven. It's all in there. to do actually okay. I used to have those slap slap and pushes I used to call it like you can do a one but then doubling on your tonic string Moving it over, so... so flat seven, six, five, moving it over, five, four, flat three. Let's cascade. He's so clean though, he's so clean. I mean, it's just... But not hybrid picking, doing it with the pick. Um, these 
are octaves. Pattern two. F, so one, two, flat three. One, two, flat seven. <laughs> I knew it. As a flat five, we're in the key of F, right? Key of F. Coming in with a C flat. I know there's no C flat, but enharmonically speaking, it's a C flat or B. That's the tritone. Hanging on it. Sell that bad boy. I hope I there's a part of me that thinks that this is on purpose and he always shoots for that flat five. But there's a bigger part of me that hopes that he didn't plan for that and just said, screw it. I'm going to hang on it and just sell the bejesus out of it. Billy, I hope that's what happened. Key lesson for all of you. If, you, if you're taking chances, you're in a crazy tune like that, you find yourself on a strange interval, and you're like, you know what? I, I, I don't hate it. Just do it 11 more times. <laughs> Stopping on that <laughs> flat two again. Again, drop. These are inverted power chords. Well, these are. The, on this side, the roots and the bass. But it's all the same. You're just walking down flat three, two, flat two, one. There's your zone. It's freaking, it's, it's, it's blue rest Pantera. I mean, that, that's what it is. that lick. What is that little run he does? Yeah, I mean it's just... So instead of... It goes... Finish. So it's the same basic Phrygian style run. The first time it goes, goes up and ends on the five. Second time, just ends on the root. So it's got that nice, it's got that nice cadence from five to one. It is a, it, it brings the ear home. We gotta speed up. The pounding has returned upstairs. The walk must be over. We're missing our window. <laughs> Keep going, something changed here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Look at his eyes, he's hunting. He's doing the he's doing the ice man, he's hunting. So you got that again, all power chords coming in. Flat three, flat seven, root, the And then back to the one. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That is the eye. That's the eye. That's the I know that look. I know that look. Yeah. 
I was waiting for that. Yeah, because there's that flat five in the riff. Yeah, so four, flat five, four, hammer on, pull up, flat three, root. And then it sounds like every other one, it resolves with the two, with the little tug. I could be wrong, but I hope I'm right. I hope that's the two. Because that, again, it implies that, implies that 5-1, because the 2 is the 5th of your 5 chord, right? Forever, the 2 is the 5th of your 5 chord. <laughs> so cool. And the whole band is on it. Harmonies. Additional harmonies. You know, you know, Billy, you're going to make me, you're going to make me, um, get back into bluegrass and metal, uh, which is like where I came from and it's been a long time. The chops aren't there like they used to be. The theory isn't there, you know, like the, you know, playing the, the <laughs> Phrygian, you know, when's the last time you played Phrygian? I don't know, six years ago? I mean, I don't know. Um, but dude. This is, this is, this is Pantera Bluegrass. Bluegrass Pantera, the Bantar of the Git Show, right? This, that's, that's, sorry, the, the camera cut out. You know, these, these, these things that only last 29.9 minutes or whatever. Anyhow, anyhow, so, yeah, I have played Phrygian in forever. This is, this is, this is, this is Pantera Bluegrass, Bluegrass Pantera, the band, the Bantar, the Git Show. So let's go over a little bit. You got, you got a drop D tuning, capo third fret. So we're in F Phrygian. So evil, so evil. All right. Then you have basically, you know, uh, you got that, you got that, that, that super sharp little, little line there where it, where it, that but it, but it, but it, you know, again, flat twos, flat sevens, flat three, flat six, and a five. But then throughout the rest of the song, you, you get flat fives. You get major seven power chord in the chorus. You get a flat five power chord in the solo that you hang on. Hello. Um, and, you, and then you have a simple... Uh, minor melody based on your relative major that one two three to hold it all together right you got killer musicianship you got your typical you know bluegrass setup you got mandolin upright bass guitar banjo everybody takes a turn taking the lead they're all bitchin players great dynamics um it's just it's just it's so good it's so good. Like you're totally gonna make me get back into this style of music, and I and I, I just want to take the opportunity to thank you all for supporting me on this journey and joining me. This is like the coolest music community uh, <laughs> that I know of online. I feel like I feel like every day there's new cool stuff that we're all finding together. So thank you for liking. Thank you for dropping links in the comments. That all this is driven by you guys 
taking five seconds and dropping links in the comments for where we should go next. And thank you for subscribing and ringing the bell. Did you know that it really means nothing if you don't ring the bell? I literally just found this out the other day. I know you guys are going to be shocked because I've been on YouTube seven years that there's a subscription section to your YouTube channel. If you don't click on the subscription section, it doesn't just, you don't just get everything you subscribe to in your feed, which is what I thought. That only happens if you ring the bell. Um, I know, it's crazy. You might not believe me, but it's true. And most of all, thank you all that support this channel and by learning guitar from me by subscribing over at my website, guitargate.com. Uh, it's the first link in the description. Uh, it's only 10 bucks a month. You get all my courses, step-by-step step, from buying your first guitar and how to tuning, all the way to this crazy modal stuff and even beyond non-diatonic harmony and new lessons every week. I post a new lesson every week. It's a new series I'm starting just for subscribers, just for you guys. So that's my little pitch. Thank you, Billy. You're the man. Again, it's, 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 it's metal bluegrass. I mean, what's cooler than that?